Hello guys, welcome back to the Cycling Trike YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about bike lights. More specifically for the wheels, but I will touch on rear tail light and then front headlight. But before we get to that, I'd like to mention thank you so much for over 100 subscribers. I really appreciate it. And the second thing before we get to today's video is a minor trail update they have compressed the gravel to the point where it's almost like cement not really but it's really hard it's not super hard to ride on it goes all the way down i think they're gonna have asphalt down next time will tell but let's get to today's video when buying bike lights you want to keep in mind on how the battery pack gets mounted. There is two different ways they get mounted. The first way is right here the battery pack gets strapped to the hub and if you're buying this type make sure your hubs are small. If you have this sized wheel it's a wheel off of a sun trike the rear ones. I would not recommend these lights for the rear because the strap is just long enough for it to fit on here and you have to stretch it a lot to get it to go on here. But the second thing you have to keep in consideration is whether they are rope lights like these are. It's just tubes with LEDs inside. You can see a little bit of the LEDs right. Not sure if you can see them. Uh, right there, the two red specks are LEDs. I'll show you the second type of battery pack I would recommend because it holds bigger batteries and it can be mounted on any type of rim. This one right here, it can only hold AAA batteries. To be honest, they don't last that long. They probably last maybe three rides and then you have to replace them which is not ideal here's the second type of battery pack with the rope lights that i would recommend would be that it holds three triple a batteries or not triple a double a batteries so they're a little bigger and it just screws to the hub like so and it can go any on any sort of spokes I'm not sure how it will do on the higher gauge spokes but I know it works on any rim size up to uh, I think the max you can go is a little over 26 I'm not sure but there's many different varieties of lights. These are multicolored. I don't have them on right now because it is super bright right now and you won't be able to see them. I made another video with these lights on so I'll link that below and at the end of the video if you want to check that out after today's video. But yeah. And you're probably wondering how they go on the wheel. Well, I'm not going to show you because they're a pain to put on and I don't have another set that I can show you on. So I'll just show you how they get installed. They use zip ties and they intertwine to the in between the spokes. That's all they do. And when you get to this point though, you're supposed to connect them together. I did not because I cut mine a little short. But, because you can trim them to fit. You don't do what I did in the rear, which is go around another time. You see there's two right there. Okay, this is what you're supposed to do. There are many different types of bike lights for the wheels that you can get. You can get one that 
change colors you can get just a single one that attaches to one of the spokes i don't have one to show you I might put a picture here but the headlight i would recommend this is a 250 lumen headlight i would recommend anything above 300 lumens for a headlight it's nice and bright you can see where you're going because knowing where objects in the road such as potholes you want to avoid at night it's very handy to have a bright enough light that will light up the road also recommend rechargeable do not get the ones that have replaceable batteries rechargeable is the way to go there's so many different kinds of lights then the rear tail light I recommend anything that you can see during the day because it just helps having something that sh tells people that there is a bike in the road or something. Anything you can see during the day I'd recommend. I don't know how many lumens this is, but I really love the light. Mostly there there's different modes. So there's blinking and then there's dim blinking, full brightness. Even at the dim, you can really see it during the day. But what I like about it is you press and hold and it turns it off. Which is really handy. And this is also rechargeable. And you can strap it basically anywhere. That you can strap something. Okay, that will conclude today's video. If you like today's video, make sure you like the video. And if you like the content I'm posting, make sure you consider subscribing so you don't miss out on a new video I, I would post. Also, hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I post a video. Like always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.